Hey guys, and welcome to the Mind View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, this is going to be Ahmad's time to speak. As always, he's here on the channel, obviously. Um, does a lot on the channel. Of course, we're going to be talking about the Bayern game today, where Bayern win 4-2. Uh, and um, the floor is yours. Go ahead, bro. I mean, the game was... It was a game of two halves, I'd say. Because in one game... On the one game... One half, I should be saying. It was basically pretty dominant from us. And we scored two goals, I believe, midway through the game, through the half. Harry Kane twice. One nice turn, not lovely finish. Another one, lovely header. Although I don't remember who assisted that or crossed that. But actually, let me check who assisted. I actually forgot who assisted that, my guy. But that cross was lovely, just for your information. I think uh, Leroy was... Sane got two got uh, two assists. Oh, Sane! Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Sane, Sane, Sane. You're Sane. right. You're right. It was Sane. And, and more, anyway, so yeah, that just shows how good Kane has been today. But yeah. I felt like in the second half, the the performance dipped. It's like we allowed Heidenheim to have chances, and eventually they got their two goals back in it. I mean, the first one was was silly from the back line. But again, it comes down to Tuchel. Because why did you sub off Opomecano? Again, mm. he did it again. This idiot. And then this one, actually, yes, we can talk about Opomecano. But this is only on one man and one man only. Kim Min J, bro. You need to be concentrating when you're being given the ball by Manuel Neuer there. You're trying to play around the back. You're not trying to give a through ball like you're good at doing. No, you're trying to play from the back. Yeah. So you need to have awareness in where the players are around you. And he just didn't have that. He gave the ball away and we conceded a second in stupid fashion. And then next thing you know, we just get our third and fourth immediately. Chupomoting, Chupomoting, uh, Guerrero rebound of Chupomoting's first attempted shot not being scored. And then Chupo Moting scored the nice header, even though he had a poor performance. Which, by the way, lovely cross from uh, Matisse Tell. But, uh, yeah, generally speaking, I mean, in terms of players' performances, Neuer was pretty good. He had one nice save. I, was it first or second half? It was like it was a close call, but he had one nice stop there. Uh, Bonasar, he started and left back. He actually didn't have a bad game. I'll give him that. He, he actually done what he needed to do, even though I think he's a waste of wages. He done pretty well. Kim Min Jae was all right until that goal he gave away. That was stupid of him. I thought Oppo Mikanu was good again, but then Tuchel, the dumbass, the Humpty Dumpty, you know, he decided to sub him off. The Ajuz, the Moak. Yeah. Uh, then uh, who else was there? We had Mizrawi. My excuse me. But Mizrawi, who I thought he had a good game as well. Well, generally speaking, these defenders had a good first half, and then second half they kind of dipped because Opomikano went off. Especially Mizrawi, he went to center back. I thought Mizrawi's center back didn't feel like he was at home, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we had Lima right back. Going forward, he was actually pretty good. We have to give him credit. I'm not going to lie to you. Defensively, boy, this guy is awful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then second, Bunasar, I mean, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Bunasar actually didn't do much wrong today. And I usually shit on this guy, but he he didn't do much wrong today. I can't fault him. Uh, midfield? I like this Pavlovich kid, by the way. This guy can defend mm -hmm. and progress the yes. ball forward. That Pavlovich yes. kid is one to watch out. You know, he, he's a very good aid to have in the long term. I feel, I feel like. And uh, next to him, I mean, next to him in the second half, we had Guerrero. I thought Guerrero was one of our best players in the second half, personally. Yeah. yeah. And then the first half, who did we have? We had Limer there, right? Because we had the whole back line. Yeah. And then midfield, Limer was all right. Yeah. Limer was all right midfield. And then Muller was good. Kane was good. Oh, amazing. Actually, Kane was amazing. Sane, I felt like in front of goal, he was lackluster, but he did assist two goals. So I can't I really... Think he's, for me, I think he's man of the match today. Really? Yeah. 
I mean, he did assist. He was more smart in his play. But once he got in front of goal when he needed to shoot, he, I felt like he kind of could have taken some chances. There was one one-on-one -on -one he had, I believe, in the first half. I was on the mm -hmm. phone call with my friend at the time when, during stream, and I saw him miss that chance. He hit a one. I'm like, bro, you should be burying that, man. Especially the – you know what I mean? The form that you are in, you should be – yeah, killer instinct. But, yeah, anyway – and then our other winger was who again? We had Gnabry. Gnabry, Gnabry I remember. Gnabry had a all right game. I wouldn't say it was amazing, I, but he was all right. I think he was a bit rusty today. I feel like with Gnabry, it's one of them where he's trying to get back into his like groove. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. He's trying to get back into his rhythm. So I'm not – usually I shit on him and I do make jokes with you about Gnabry. You know what I mean? I usually shit on him because I think he doesn't care. But this season so far, and I think every game he's played, he's shown that he cared. It's just that I feel like he needs to get back into his rhythm and he'll be getting going again, Conchal. So overall, I think Bayern done well in the first half and then the second half, they're just, they just dropped a little bit. I felt like they tried being defensive and it killed him. But it made no sense, though. He tried being defensive, but he gets rid of up and be counter. This guy makes no sense. It really makes – you see, I was talking about uh, this in the stream, but for those who didn't watch the stream, I'm going to reiterate to why he, Liam, and I, me recently, him since the beginning, want to go out. It's because not that we're winning, losing games. No. It's because if we play like this now against these teams and win, imagine if we play the big boys when it matters the most. It either goes two ways. Either we lose – convincingly to them yeah. or we win by share housing it and even if we win by share housing it, it ain't sustainable for next season yeah. <laughs> that's where the problems really lie and these scenarios that i listed comes from two th these two things one that Tuchel's defensive this is where the bit i think that he could share house it from right where he just put numbers behind the ball and then the other scenario or the other reason to why I think that it's not sustainable is because decisions like subbing off Opomikano when you're going defensive and you have no other center backs than Kim and Jay and Opomikano. Like, what? And then obviously we don't have a six. We need to see how he does when we get a six eventually. But even then, it's like, my God. This guy ain't gonna last if he just keeps on doing this in certain games. And by the way, we we should be we should have already have a loss record in. Uh, we should have had it in Copenhagen, and we should have had it in uh, Leipzig. And if you want, yeah. So basically, I was gonna say Gladbach, but I actually played good Gladbach surprisingly. So, yeah, maybe Leverkusen. But <laughs> even then, I didn't even watch the Leverkusen game, but. I heard that we were just tight. It was a tie game. So imagine, like, what's going to happen if we play Man City, Real Madrid, or Barcelona. My God. And by the way, this season, I know we take the piss out of Barca, but the reason why I mentioned their name is because these guys have bun a bunch of kids from La Masia coming up their asshole. Did you see all You see the fucking midfield they have? That was his name. They have Yamal on the wing. They have uh, Fermin on the midfield. And they have Gundogan as well now. They got... I mean, Romeo is a bomb in DM. I don't know how he's in that starting 11. But still, they still got ballers, man. They have Felix popping off. They got Arojo in defense. Which, by the way, every time we play Barcelona, I feel like Arojo is like their fucking banging centre-back. I know it's not a Barca channel, but I'm telling you, this is an example of why... I would start fearing them when we go far. And it comes to my point. Thomas Tuchel is not sustainable at this club. Yeah. You know what I'm I, saying? I yeah, yeah, I get you. I understand what you're saying, bro. It's just... Yeah. Man of the match. Who would your man of the match be, though? Uh, you know what? You say Sane, I'm surprised because I don't think he's man of the match. I think Harry Kane again. He's definitely a candidate. 
Harry Kane. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. This is the best form I've seen Harry Kane being in it, since he came in. Would you say he's the best striker in the world right now? I mean, if you're talking on form, like, you know how they say in form and all yeah, that yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say either him or Garassi. But hasn't he got more goals now than Garassi? I think they have the same amount. Because Garassi scored today as well. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, exactly. So, the thing, and he scored against Dortmund. Bomb. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, but again, but the point is, is that, like, I would say if you're going to talk about Kane and Haaland, because I know you want me to say Kane over Haaland. That's, that's where you want me to land. But I'll put it to you like this, yeah? Kane is a better player. Haaland's a better striker. Even though Kane has more goals than him this season, if I'm not mistaken. Let's yeah. be honest. Haaland on his day, boy, yo, yo, yo. Um, they both were in the same league. And I know City had players to, prov- have players to provide for him and Spurs didn't, but... The fact Kane's going 30 in that bum team speaks volumes, man. Yeah, no, I agree. I and it comes as a testament of a player that he is more than the striker that he is. Definitely, bro. Definitely. But yeah, there we go, people. There's that done and dusted. Ahmad, that's Ahmad's opinion. Let me know what you think on what he's had to say. Do you think Thomas Tuchel was wrong, right, for bringing uh, Mancano off the pitch? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's all opinion at the end of the day. So yeah, let me know what you think. Smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and um, yeah, man. Until then, Mia Samia. Peace out, people.